Hello friends, my name is Jacob and this story happened a couple of years ago when I was 16. If what I'm about to tell you taught me anything, it is this. Trying new things is cool. Some new things might get you in dangerous, life-threatening situations. I grew up in a very poor family. My parents worked hard just to provide us with what was essential. They each had more than one job and I was left alone at home most of these days. I missed them and bored myself quickly, though in retrospect, I think that's the reason that I am so independent. I learned to cook, wash the dishes, and clean the house from a very early age. It provided me with nice discipline and, hey, I guess you could say I'd be a good catch as a husband someday. But even with all the house chores, I got bored. I was a kid with not much responsibility besides school, which always came easy for me. So I watched television, a ton of it, as one does whenever you're bored and alone and also 10 years old. I was fascinated with shows about rich people, how they live, how they travel, how they avoid taxes. Just kidding, guys. Pay your taxes. I loved to peek at how they eat in expensive, luxurious restaurants and eat the most exotic dishes in the world. You know it's exotic when they call it a cuisine instead of food. And man, I was so attracted towards exotic cuisines. At first, I dreamt of becoming a chef. Then I realized that I have to learn how to walk before I learn how to run. In this case, I had to taste great food in order to learn how to cook in the future. So I started dreaming about eating at expensive restaurants and simply trying the most unusual stuff, one foot at a time, huh? I became obsessed with the idea that when I turned 16, my best friends, my family, and I would go to a luxury restaurant and order outstanding, delicious dishes. Time passed, I became older, but this thought did not leave me. I tormented my parents for it, and on my 16th birthday, they gave me a coupon to visit a Chinese place in a very exclusive area of the city. Turns out, they'd been saving for a very long time because they knew how much it meant to me. Gosh, I have the best parents. I booked a table, invited my two best friends, and we went to celebrate. My dreams came true. In the restaurant, I ordered a dish with a very rare yet succulent fish. The chef assured of it, and boy was he right. Everything was super delicious. In fact, the food was so delicious that when it became poop, it still smelled good. All right, that didn't happen, though the party was a big success, and I couldn't have been happier at the moment. Almost a month passed after my birthday when I began to notice something odd was happening to me. I felt nauseous. I threw up, suffered from fever, and sometimes I had the strangest belly movements. Was I pregnant? You know I thought so too, but I'm not a girl, so that was impossible. I told my parents about it, and they thought it was funny the way I described my symptoms. Perhaps I shouldn't have started with, Mom, Dad, I think I'm pregnant. Mom suggested I drank antipyretic and went to bed. So I did, and it did not help at all. I had the worst nightmares that night. I felt how my stomach was moving, and suddenly my head was filled with images of the first Alien movie. The best one. I woke up in horror and saw something moving under my skin. My nightmare became a reality, and I started screaming and screaming in horror. A huge worm is living in my body and will devour my inside, I yelled at my parents as soon as they came running. They had no idea what was happening and my words made less than zero sense until it showed around my stomach. What they saw immediately shocked them. Mom started crying and Dad almost fainted. I screamed and screamed and screamed and, and then it was I who fainted. I woke up in the hospital the next morning. I was so stressed that my body entered shock and I lost consciousness. Mom and Dad called an ambulance, and after a short examination, the doctor tells them that my diagnosis. My body was infected with a parasite. This is a long worm that seems more like a small snake living inside me, punctuated the wall of my intestine, and entered my abdominal cavity. Sounds like a freaking horror movie because it goddamn was. The consequences are that ever since I had severe stomach issues and recurring nightmares about monsters eating me from the inside. Plus, I can't even look at Chinese food anymore. 
try an exotic dish once and puff, the dream was forever ruined.